Africa Told myself to push and never stop I've been stressed out Watching both these hands around the clock With my eyes wide Trying to get the panorama shot Whole world getting blurry to me Answers getting lost Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video yet again we are continuing with the install and preview series for the OnePlus 5. Now the review that we have in place today is for MSM Extended that is basically a Pi based custom ROM which has a lot of customization and a lot of other things. So as requested by a few of you what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep this intro really really short so we're going to install this particular ROM and we're going to go ahead and have a first look at it so without further ado if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash Let's get flashing. Hey guys, welcome to another video and as you can look at the screen right now, we are going to talk about MSM Extended which says the custom ROM. So we are on the home page of, you know, basically their XDA thread and what they mention here is there is no more Cardinal Extended so that used to be the old name and we talk about features, well, awesome slider, sRGB toggle, HBM tiles and toggles, wider color gamut option, you have dialer customization, display settings, so the term extended it's a well if I go to read all this trust me it's going to be a long list so what you can do is you can actually go to the thread and you can go through all the options that are there now that's the team that's the donations that they have received and stuff that's the download link and how to flash well back up everything most important so please go ahead and back up all your data because if you lose any important files that will not be something nice so next thing you have to have sufficient battery to complete a flash of course TWRP is needed which requires an unlocked bootloader if you don't know how to do that well there is a video that I've made on how to do that so don't worry you can follow that video and get TWRP installed so nonetheless this ROM looks like very very promising just like the Omni ROM video so what we'll do is press and hold the power button and let's restart to recovery so let's actually boot into TWRP and let's flash this baby and let's see how this goes all right so we are in twrp as always now important thing that you need to remember of course is the rom file should be copied to your phone's internal memory open g apps and if you want to flash majisk well you can do that as well so we'll go to wipe advanced wipe delvic cache system data we won't be wiping internal storage swipe to wipe and then go to install select the extended zip swipe to confirm flash now this is the rom of course and as always i would like to mention that it will take two to three minutes to flash so please be patient while that happens okay now as you can see the rom has been flashed so go to install and flash open g apps as always i use the nano version you may choose a different one but for me nano has been working just fine it doesn't give me any google bloat and it allows me to go ahead and install anything that i want to from the play store so let's wait for this to flash all right, so looks like this is also flash. So let's reboot system Do not install. Now, as always, the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes because it's a fresh install is what we have. So let's go ahead and wait for the phone to boot up. All right, so as you can see, that is the MSM extended boot animation and it looks pretty, pretty great. Very, very simplistic, two arrows up and down. So that is something nice so brownie points to them for that let's wait for the phone to boot up and then we will definitely have a look at this wonderful rom all right guys so we are on the home screen of msm extended right now and if we go to the menu or you know the list of apps well you will notice that there are not a lot of apps that we have the first usb or the first thing that is good for this particular rom is of course it has the oneplus camera and it has front and rear portrait that means it is one of the latest version although not the one which has google lens on it but i'm okay with that as long as i'm running a custom rom and getting stability and getting a good camera with good pictures and stuff i'm pretty happy with it now apart from that if we have an overview at a look or look of this rom the icons are blue it's just like android pie but then again they look a little different over here so if you go to settings it is basically the stock android pie settings items but the icons again look different now you have something called as extensions over here so if you go ahead and click on it the first thing that you notice i like the way they put it across is oneplus shit so you know 
shitty slider, OnePlus gestures, sRGB mode, wider color gamut mode and stuff like that so that is that and animations you can you know make a lot of changes there to the animation style uh, i am actually liking the way they have made this particular rom you have button options you can disable hardware keys you can button torch oh my god there are a lot of options so then you have decor room which again gives you an option to you know go ahead and change so many things so if you you know go ahead and have a look this is one of the most customizable roms for the oneplus 5 that i have seen and uh, yeah i have not seen any force closures or any such issues like that and it has pretty advanced customization options as well it's like allow signature spoofing you can allow the phone to remove system apps and stuff app circle bar then you have power menu customization smart nav bar is something you can go ahead and enable it so this is basically the pixel nav bar which is there so that is another good thing i believe the system ui needs to be restarted there so yeah that is that um yeah that is pretty nice although we'll keep it disabled because this is a 16 to 9 phone and uh, i don't like having gestures on a 16 to 9 phone anyways coming back to the rom um what else do we have we have gestures so you can enable aosp gestures and then you have normal gestures you have carbon gestures you have edge gestures and you have pie gestures as well so you can keep the theme dark as well so you can enable pie control and network indicator this that there are a lot of options actually pie gravity left okay so that's basically your pie navigation menu is what you have we will go ahead and disable it apart from that you have edge gestures as well so you can go ahead and enable that option as well and okay navigation gestures does it work oh wow all right so you have oneplus navigation gestures which are working just fine as well now in that case i can actually go to say button and disable hardware keys so when i press here nothing happens but when i use the gestures it works just fine there you go now apart from this you see this is where this is the way you go back now ideally oneplus didn't include this for the oneplus find this particular update because they mentioned that it is only for phones with a full view display or 18 is to 9 panel which is fine uh, apart from that wi-fi works bluetooth works nfc works everything works and we have digital well-being as well so all in all if we go to system yeah there you have your psychedelic android pie easter egg so more or less you know i've tried uh, at least six or seven distant different custom roms i'm yet to try two more so you'll be getting videos for those as well this looks like one of the most promising roms with a lot of features and options uh, i'm still not convinced to stay with this but then again yeah i will be giving it a try as well so the full review should come out soon because i'm really interested in reviewing these roms and it's going to be a lot of fun reviewing them actually so that will happen when that happens but for now this was the install and first look at msm extended for the oneplus 5 and i'm sure it would be available for 5t as well if there's anything else you'd like to mention please go to the comment section and throw this give a like to this video so for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye Eyes, watching all this time slip by.